Dorian Tool International turns machining into profit. Introducing the Vision Set Tool Presetter with geometric functions to measure angles, intersections, radii, and more, upgradable software, and a label printer for easy tool identification, a profiler to track edge wear, high precision optical scales, and a user friendly interface. When you first turn on the presetter, move both the X and Z axes past the midpoint, like so, to reset the optical scale value. We can now use the presetter. The vision set is capable of measuring up to 12 and a half inches in diameter and 14 inches in height. The 500 model measures up to 19 and a half inches high. The tool is seen by a CMOS high resolution camera with 40 times magnification to precisely measure a tool with an accuracy of 2 ten thousandths of an inch and a resolution of 5 one hundred thousandths of an inch. You can also use a variety of interchangeable sleeves. Maintenance is important for this device to function properly. Simply wipe down the diameter of the sleeve and the interior diameter of the presetter. Then, take the sleeve and apply a thin coating of oil and insert it into the presetter. Also, be sure to clean the tool's taper before securing it into the sleeve. We are now going to set the reference point. First, be sure that the presetter is in absolute mode. To determine the reference point for the x-axis, locate the reference sphere and rotate the sleeve until the sphere is focused. Tighten the x-axis locking knob and turn the x-axis travel knob until the sphere touches the z-axis. Press the x origin button on the top panel to set the master origin. The reference point for the z-axis follows the same procedure. Locate the reference sphere and rotate the tool sleeve to focus on the sphere's maximum point. Tighten the z-axis locking knob and turn the z-axis travel knob until the sphere touches the x-axis. Press the Z-Origin button to set the Z-Axis reference. We can now proceed to measure the tool. Here, we show how to measure in fixed axis mode. Rotate the tool until sharply focused on the screen. Use the X and Z-Axis travel knobs to locate the cutting edge so that they touch the X and Z axes. Click on the value so that they change to red and lock in the number. We can also use maximum axis mode. Simply click the button and bring your tool into focus. Notice that the numbers turn yellow when in maximum axis mode. The presetter will automatically calculate the measurements. Click on the value so that they change to red to lock in the number. You can use the maximum axis mode to set adjustable tools like this one. Locate and focus on the cutting edge and select maximum axis mode. Adjust the tool's diameter and watch how the diameter increases as you do so. Set your desired diameter and unlock the tool sleeve to measure your next tool. You can also use the maximum axis mode to measure the tool runout. Locate and focus on the cutting edge. Find the tool's diameter and switch to relative mode, which sets your value to zero. 
Then simply turn the tool to check the tool's runout. In order to save the information on the tool, click the diskette near the bottom of the right-hand panel. Give the tool a name and click the green check mark to save the information. The memory of the vision set can hold 20,000 tools. We are now going to take advantage of the geometric functions of this presetter. You can use the line function to measure the distance between two chosen points on the screen. And the program shows the distance between the points as well as the delta x and delta z. In order to measure the distance between a straight line and a point, like in this example here, select the line 90 degree button and draw a line from crest to crest. Then select the minimum point on the route. The depth is displayed on the screen. To measure a particular angle, Choose the Angle Function button and click two points for a line. Then, click the button on the top that says New Line and draw two more points, like so. Click the button that says Select Angle and click inside which angle you want to measure. To measure the radius of a cutting edge or the circumference center location, click on the radius function button and click three points on the cutting radius like so. Radius is displayed on the screen along with the center location. The radius precision is proportional to the number of points you select. You can also set a value for a radius by using the radius setting button and specify a tolerance to check for compliance. Click on the R set button and three circles will appear on the screen along with a pop-up window for you to specify the tolerance. The blue line is a nominal value and the red and green lines are your positive and negative tolerances. Drag the circle to match the tool profile and compare if the radius is within tolerance. The tool profile function is used as a visual inspection tool for multiple insert tools. Focus on a desired cutting edge and click on the tool profile button. The first profile is then printed on the screen. Turn the tool and focus on the next cutting edge and click on the desired color for the profile. Continue with the rest of the other cutting edges. You can then proceed to save the profile for future reference, or print the tool profile to a PDF or A4 printer. Use this function for tool wear inspection. To enable instant geometry, click on the settings button on the top panel. Then, click Parameter System button and select what measurements you would want from the panel that appears on the screen. The presetter automatically detects and displays radii and angles when the tool is focused. Should you ever want to take a screenshot of what you see, simply press this button and name the file to save. The image should be saved in a PDF file. Here we have used a master gauge with a known height value in order to set a new origin. Click on this button on the bottom right hand corner and then select the green plus button to add a new origin. Enter in your values.
and press the green check mark to confirm. The vision set allows you to store up to 200 different machine origins to compensate for height offsets. To use the labeler, give the tool a number and a name by typing in these values on the top panel. Then, choose the print button in order to print out a label. You can then stick this label onto the tool for reference later. Please refer to the manual for further instructions.